Carmen is on the swing. This swing was here when he built the house. Do you know that his daddy and I think um, some of the family, just his daddy and another person, I believe, if I'm wrong, you guys correct me, built this house with their hands for $100. He borrowed the money. He built it. They lived in, in it until, what year was it? He said 1949 when he left. Cameron, go sit on the swing wall, Frank. Sitting on the swing of the Tupelo home. Yeah, Billy swung on it. Because I don't have an iPhone. Oh, you have to get tickets. Yeah, and she's doing a session right now, so that's why I didn't go in. Yeah, you gotta have tickets. There's three different exhibits. There's the museum, the church, and then this. So you choose to buy which one you or all three. Oh, okay. We're just stopping in. We're gonna go take a picture with Dad. Before Dad gets to sleep. Tupelo home. No, I on the porch. Don't let me drop no more tickets. What? Tickets? Want me to hold the tickets? I'm sitting on the swing at the Tupelo home. <laughs> you guys, there's so much to do around here. I'm worried about running out of daylight. I really am. Come on, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me. I'm getting out so y'all can do it. Excuse me. This is it. Not in the middle back room. But that, they kind of better than the better room? What this was? The room. You had a front room and a back room. Oh, oh. I don't okay. know if you would call it the living room. You had okay. A room. Oh, okay. And it depended on which door you come in, if it was the front or the back. Wow. <laughs> it was two rooms, first and second. Thank you, ma'am. The house was built in 1934. Elvis' dad, Vernon, borrowed $180 to build this home. Wow. It's uh, the original fireplace, the original stove. But the stove from the 1800s, it was a hand-me-down from Gladys's parents. Wow. Uh, they had no power and no running water. They did have an outhouse outside, and uh, they had a pump outside, courtesy of Mr. Bean. But it had to be shared with other sharecroppers. It did like a row of sharecropping houses down through uh -huh. here. It had to be shared with all That's of them. That's what that was. That I saw the picture of the road. I need to go look at that picture. You're about the third or fourth one to mention, and I've never seen that picture. Uh huh. But, uh, yeah, it's just a row. Of yeah, it's just a row of houses. I forget where I saw it. I was there was so much stuff. like all that. Of course, all the uh, gift shop, museum, all that one here. Of course, and there was a dairy barn up there, like where the bronze statues are now. Mm -hmm. There's a dairy barn up there. Then it was a working farm, yeah. you know. It was just working farm. And that's what his dad did. He worked as a. His dad was a sharecropper. What did he go to prison for? Forgery. Forgery. He, oh, that's right. Um, yeah. On the check. Yeah, he wrote a, he sold a hog to Mr. Bean, who they're sharecropping for, for four dollars, and he wrote him a check for it. And then whenever he went to cash it, then Vernon always said he don't know why he did that. But when he went to make his mark, he couldn't read or write. He's going to make a mark. He put a zero back behind the four dollars and changed it to forty. Four. 
That's what it was. Wow. I can. I didn't know if it was forty or four hundred. And then why would you do that? Everybody knows everybody. And You're forty right forty dollars a whole lot different back then than forty. Well, I didn't realize how much until I one day I was sitting here thinking. I thought, darn, it cost one hundred and eighty dollars to build a home. Uh -huh. Forty dollars. That's almost a third of that. So yeah. say a home now, hundred hundred thousand dollars. I've been thirty thousand dollar check he wrote. How long did he go to prison for that? He got sentenced for three years to Parkman. Wow. Parkman was bad too and still is but he got out after Where is eight. That? that's the name of the prison uh-huh parkman prison is that's above jackson mississippi state Still penitentiary there, huh? yes Ooh, that's the old yeah it's bad it was bad then and it's bad All now prison's bad. <laughs> yeah well parkman prison lives on the or operates on the concept well you're here for a reason and we don't care yeah right well you know wow. that's tough love too right? it's under yeah. investigation right now yeah. oh, you know it was but yeah you know, you lose perception of time as you get older because time goes by so fast. Yeah. And I say last year, but it may have been a year before. I don't know. Like four inmates got uh, either hung. They all died uh -huh. within a certain amount of time, within a certain amount of space in there. Uh -huh. You know, they either hung themselves or something happened. So it's all being investigated right now. Uh -huh. I mean, it's just that bad. Yeah. And she didn't think he would ever return from. That's the reason she had that picture up there made. That's the first picture ever made of Elvis. Really, and she yeah, deemed it you know. necessity to have it made because she didn't think he would come back from prison. Wow. He had to be in prison and in November. And it, he got out after eight months for good behavior. Mm -hmm. But during that eight months, they lost his house. Yeah. Due to non payment. They lost the house, car, everything. Well, he took off to Memphis, huh? Well, no, they stayed in Tupelo for another 10 years. After oh, really? That. But during that 10 years, they moved nine times everybody asks is this the original yes it is <laughs> now elvis lived up here off the shaker he did but this here is where he was born yeah. when they got out of prison they stayed in tupelo for about 10 years but like i said they moved nine times in that 10 years you know years are ago. those houses documented does anybody know no nah, they're all gone by now yeah they're, they're all gone so but now a lot of us talk now because a lot of people that still live around here still remember Elvis grew up. Like the lady that works here full time yeah, during the week, she grew up with him. Uh -huh. You know, so she knows a lot of things uh -huh. about him going up through there and fixing that. And I read that one. Is the school the he school. went to, the elementary school, still here? Yeah. You go. That'd be right, weird to go to school and wear Elvis. Yeah, you go right down to the Main Street right mm -hmm. here, turn to Firefox, your first red light, and turn to your left. Oh, I got a big semi. Way. I can barely put it in the spark. I, I don't want to go too far away. Everything that you heard about Elvis is all within walking is. distance right here. Like yeah. right there was a school, cheap little hardware, just go right to Main Street and go straight yeah. up and it'll be right there. It's probably there a lot right. smaller little towns back then. Huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like you could, it was like one of the main things then, but you'll still cross the railroad tracks and it'll still be right there on your yeah. right. Johnny's drive-in is still there. That's why it's a shame when we travel around with that truck. It's like, <laughs> yeah, we can't do it. Aging uh -huh. I can't do a lot of stuff. Yeah, my dad used to drive. Yeah. I hate made his I wouldn't even drive. Try to turn her. Now, but I found it. Spot on that side. On the side over there. Well, yeah. I'm glad you stopped. Uh, I'm so glad you stopped. Uh, big, big fans. Yeah, yeah we went to Memphis, to Graceland. We've been in. Yeah. A great. Oh. Now, all this furniture, uh, <laughs> I don't want to call all this furniture replicas. I don't like that because uh, it is from that time. But, you know, when they moved to Memphis, they sold everything yeah. they had. Yeah. Uh, but the birthplace advertised for furnishings from that era, and Vernon picked every piece table. out and placed it where it's at. Very oh, hands-on. Really? So when I say that Elvis was born right here, literally, he was born like right, right here. here. <laughs> so, you know, Vernon said we had an iron bedstead with white chenille uh, bedspread on it. And, of course, you know he was born in the bed right here. Mm -hmm. And he placed it right here. All catty corner all up in here. Vernon put everything in here? He put everything wow, in here. Wow, that makes wow. it a little more. It's uh, very, much, very much hands-on. Yeah. You know, he talked about the bed. We had two chairs, two adult chairs and a baby mm -hmm. chair. Oh, and Gladys sat right there with the turn next to the fireplace. Very hands-on. <laughs> now, they did not have this wallpaper. They had uh, newspapers. <laughs> they make a page to put uh -huh. newspapers up in the wintertime for insulation wow. and take it down in the summertime for ventilation. But that was a normal back then, too. Now, this wallpaper was here. You know, like I said, they lost it. You know, other people moved in and they moved out yeah. and done everything. Uh, it was here when Elvis repurchased this. Yeah. He repurchased it. How old was he when he did that benefit concert? That, uh, he did that concert here in Tupelo, right? No, well, that was for the fair. 
See it the, was? Fi the fire, the, fair, the right? Mississippi, Alabama Fire and Dairy oh. Show. It was a big, big thing. It's all like people um, came from everywhere. Probably. Yes, well, that was all they had. Like my mom and I, you had two different types of people. You had affluent people like Mr. Bean, then you had people like us. You keep saying Mr. Bean. He owned the uh, farm that they yes. worked on. The yes, shelter? he owned all the cotton crop, all the cotton fields, and everything. Oh. That's who they share a cotton farm. Wow. And um, I say my mom, and nobody ever talked about Elvis picking cotton, but I promise you, Elvis picked cotton because they all did. When the cotton plants got this tall, and you got this tall, oh. you was out there. I must so be like a little pantry. But I'm telling you, this is because curtains just to sway in. You didn't have anything, she didn't tell you anything. Right, right. She said, but when the props come in every year, she's sure they all got a new pair of shoes and they all got to go to the fair. Because mm -hmm. they worked all summer long, just like wow. everybody else did. Right. But they all got to the fair was a very big thing for around here. Mm -hmm. It was very big for Elvis to come back to his hometown for the cheaper old fair. Now, he'd done made it big by then. How old was it when he actually got his first year ever? That's all right, Mama, right? Mm -hmm. 18? 18? Between 17 and 18? Yeah. Wow. Because this so is like something that's... He was, came back 22 to do the fair, right? He was, oh, he was 19. 19? 19. 19. 19. They did the fair. You now, was that the money made of that that bought this house? Uh, no, when he come down back for the fair, he found out that Mr. Bean had passed, and he bought this in 15, this 15 acres uh -huh. from his estate. And... And um, got tickets. Yes, please. Okay. And he uh, he bought this uh, oh, fifteen yard from fifteen uh, acre from the state and donated to the city of Chippewa with the stipulation that it could never be sold. They had to be uh, parked here and have a summer camp for kids that couldn't afford to go to summer camp. And he also donated a hundred thousand dollars a year for ten years to the city of Chippewa. Wow. And y'all, this was a 19-year-old kid. Wow. That's what I can do. 19-year-old kid. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. I'm so glad y'all called. Y'all be careful on this girl. Be careful. Hey, y'all doing today? Just like some pictures. In here. Oh, wait. Get off of that phone like I told you to. Sometimes there's wires coming through the windows. And sometimes it'll look down the this door. What time is it, Cameron? Yeah, welcome, welcome. Uh, it is. Yeah, you're going to love it. Elvis got to be wild. Okay. I love that. So, Billy snuck over the ropes and sat at the table. Did y'all go through the. In this chair right here. Did y'all realize that you're walking through the road and creek and I come back over there, mate. I come back over there. There's a little wood, apparently. I have not found a creek yet. And they start creaking. The first time I say something, the doors creak when you open it up and stuff like that. But I've not found one yet. That must have been like a biscuit yes. muffin maker, right? You guys tell me what that is. His name is Jesse and Jesse's brother, Uncle Betty. They borrowed one hundred eighty dollars. Our Vernon borrowed one hundred eighty dollars from Mr. Bain to build this home. From uh, Mr. Bain to the share crop with us at the time. It's four hundred fifty square feet. It's the original fireplace. It's the original stove in the back. But the stove from the eighteen hundreds. It was a hand me down from Gladys's uh, mother. Oh wow. They had no power and no running water. They used an outhouse and they had a pump outside that had to be shared with other share croppers. Like a rebel house is down through here, and they had to share the pump with that. 1935, Ellis Presley was born right here in this room. He was the second born of a set of twins. J.C. Guerin was born, uh, still born, 35 minutes before Elvis was born. That's a long time for twins to be born for. But you didn't know you was having twins at the time. You know, you oh. didn't, you weren't expecting one right because you didn't know you was having it. They were delivered by midwife. Oh, and you know, Gladys was really protective of Elvis, and I think it all stemmed from that one day. She lost Jesse. She liked to lost Elvis and herself because they had to spend two weeks in the hospital after he was born, and she could never have any children after that either. So she knew Elvis was going to be it. That, that was it, you know. And very often. 
My Elvis was two and a half year old. Gladys deemed it necessary to have that picture right there made. That's the first picture ever made of Elvis Presley. She deemed it necessary because Vernon had been sentenced to three years in so, prison for four It's a three bedroom, but um, no, it's only a two bedroom shack. And that must be a small pantry right there. Oh, look, there are, um, those are gems and jellies made, homemade gems and jellies. And all this is replicas, but it's pretty much everything that they go off of what was said that was in the house. So it's not the same. It's not actually theirs, but it's stuff that people donated of the same stuff. So you can see the smoke. That is original from the smoker. You see that up there? You cook in that. That's a little stove right there. Milk jugs. So, put my finger over it. Sorry. That's what they sell everything they have whenever they move. So I don't like to call these replicas because they are replicas. The workplace advertised for the of the air yeah. and Vernon picked out everything and placed it where it was. So like we had an arm bedstead with a white chenille bedspread, um, two adult chairs and one child chair, and Gladys would sit there next to the churn, you know, by the fireplace. Her sewing machine was put under the window because they had no power for the light to see. Oh, called oil and lanterns. That's what they used for the light was called. It placed everything where it's at. It was very hands on. Very hands on. Yes, we did. I'm going to take a picture of that. Watch it. It's amazing. Because you had. You had two different types of people at that time. You had affluent people like Mr. Bean, and then you had people like this. But I will say you had four people on the screen. Alright, let's go walk around and go see other things. Probably go back in as many times as we want, but let's go walk around. I got footage, this is you couldn't film, but I got footage and sometimes it cut off and like missed a part of a word or a word, but that's it guys. It comes, I would cut it right back on and that was because sometimes I make mistakes trying to actually, um, I make mistakes trying to take a picture, I'll hit the stop button instead for some reason and then I'll turn it right back on. So if it sounds like it skipped or something, it did not skip anything but like a letter to a word or or just what word she was saying right then. I turned it right back on. And so I tried to stay in the second time when she was repeating it. 